Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of reptiles that call Florida home. We'll be discussing the key differences between alligators and crocodiles living in the Sunshine State. So, if you've ever wondered what sets these creatures apart, stick around. Florida is home to an incredible diversity of wildlife, but few creatures are as iconic and enigmatic as its resident alligators and crocodiles. You might think they're the same, but there are some distinct characteristics that set them apart. South Florida is the only place in the whole world where alligators and crocodiles coexist. In this video, we'll explore the key differences between alligators and crocodiles living in Florida. First up, let's talk about alligators. You'll find these reptiles primarily in freshwater habitats like swamps, lakes, and rivers. Their preferred environment is essential to understanding their distinctive features. Alligators have a U-shaped snout, which is broad and rounded, perfect for their diet of fish, birds, and mammals. They tend to be darker in color, which helps them blend into the murky waters of Florida's swamps. Now, let's talk about behavior. Alligators are known to be more tolerant of freshwater environments, making them a common sight in Florida's swamps and lakes. Alligators are often seen lazily floating in the water or sunbathing near the shore. While alligators are known for ocean adventures, there have been a few rare instances where they've been spotted in coastal areas, especially during hurricanes or storm surges. However, these sightings are infrequent and usually result from extreme weather conditions. To understand how alligators could end up in the ocean, we need to consider environmental factors. Rising sea levels, hurricanes, and changes in water salinity can play a role in pushing these reptiles into unfamiliar territory. Now, let's switch our focus to the American crocodiles. Crocodiles are apex predators, meaning they are at the top of the food chain. Their presence regulates the populations of prey species, preventing overpopulation of certain animals and helping maintain ecological balance. The average lifespan of a crocodile is between 70 to 100 years, while the average lifespan of an alligator is usually between 30 to 50 years. In Florida, American crocodiles are often found in more coastal and brackish water environments, like mangroves and in the canals. Crocodiles have a V-shaped snout, which is more pointed and streamlined. This snout is perfect for catching fish in the saltier waters they inhabit. Crocodiles in Florida tend to be lighter in color compared to alligators. Crocodiles, on the other hand, are more adaptable to saltwater environments and can be found near the coast. They are known for being a bit more aggressive and are less likely to shy away from saltier waters. Now, it's important to mention that both alligators and crocodiles are protected by laws in Florida. Conservation efforts are in place to ensure the well-being of these reptiles and the safety of residents and visitors. Alligators and the American crocodile were once considered endangered because of excessive hunting, but their population is now growing. So, whether you encounter an alligator or a crocodile in the wild, remember to keep a safe distance and never feed them. These creatures play a crucial role in Florida's ecosystems, and it's our responsibility to coexist peacefully. Crocodiles can be a source of ecotourism, drawing visitors to protected areas such as the Everglades National Park. This tourism can provide economic incentives for local communities to engage in conservation efforts and protect crocodile habitats. And there you have it, the differences between alligators and crocodiles living in the great state of Florida. Their distinct habitats, snout shapes, and coloration make it easier to identify which reptile you're encountering. As always, folks, be sure to admire these incredible creatures from a safe distance and help protect Florida's unique wildlife. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting facts about Florida. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.